We're behind the scenes here at the Queen Elizabeth Theater backstage of Wicked. Now we know there's a good witch and a bad witch, so we're gonna meet Carol Lindsay who plays Glinda the Good Witch in Wicked up next on BT. We'll be right back. You're gonna be popular. I'll teach you the proper points when you talk. Well, now this is a closet that I would like to shop in. Kara, <laughs> beautiful wardrobe. Yeah, I know. It's incredible, and it's wonderful to wear it. So. And you do wear it as Glinda the Good Witch I in do. Wicked, which is running right now at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre. Sure. So tell us a little bit about the story of Wicked. Sure. It is the untold story of the Witches of Oz, um, and it's what happens before Dorothy drops in. Um, and it's a story about friendship. It's really beautiful. So without giving too much away, that's pretty much what happens. Well, and and most people, again, their first initiation into Oz is mm -hmm. from the Wizard of Oz, yeah. and so they might not realize there is a friendship. There is a tear or two, I will say, yeah. to be shed. Yeah, I think a lot of people can relate to the story in some way. We all have a best friend, or we all have, you know, a sister or a brother that um, is our best friend, and. Um, and it's really touching. So it really touches people's hearts. And fantastic music in the production, yeah. as you would expect. Yeah, Stephen Schwartz, I mean, he's incredible. And um, this show has been running for 10 years, and it's become a phenomenon. And um, it's been very popular. They just performed on the Tonys recently to celebrate the 10-year anniversary. And um, it's become very popular. And there's a reason why. It's, it's bigger than life. It's amazing. It truly is a spectacular production. We're going to talk wardrobe a little bit later, but I think I'm going to shed a little tear, because this is what I think. <laughs> It is right here. This is the crown that Glinda wears in the show. Um, these are Swarovski crystals, and the same person that made this crown also makes the Miss America crowns. Okay. So, so do you, can, really, you want to wear can, it? Can I? Can yes, I wear of that? course. Well, you can check out Wicked. It is running oh. right now. <laughs> Don't worry about the pins. It's okay. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, you can check out Wicked running at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre. It's running from now until the 29th. I, I might never take this off. Well, that's okay. You might have to pay for it. Oh. <laughs> can I click my heels three times? <laughs> So, you know, we're used to getting kind of behind the scenes secrets about productions themselves, uh, Kara, but I never thought that there would be a secret behind this dress, which oh, you get a yeah. chance to wear. I know, I get to wear this beautiful dress. Um, there are many secrets behind this dress. Um, this weighs 40 pounds. 40 pounds? <laughs> 40 pounds, yeah. And I wear this in the bubble that um, raises above the stage, and that's how she enters. Um, and uh, this is the third most expensive costume. How much? It's $15,000. <gasps> so we have to take very good care yes, of it. Yes, I won't touch it. <laughs> no, 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 that's <laughs> fine. Um, and behind, you will see how um, we keep that 40 pound weight off of my feet and knees and everything. Um, so this, this is sort of, I mean, to me, it feels like it's a hiking backpack in some ways, like it, it keeps the weight off of you. Um, so this, all straps in and it, it hugs my hips so that um, all the weight isn't on my knees and my feet and um, it zips up and then we we hook this and snap that up and then this is the carabiner that hooks into the bubble so that I don't fall Something from several you feet above. You never see I know on a dress. this. Exactly. I know <laughs> this isn't a typical ball dress no, item. Exactly. Um, but yeah, this is what holds me in and saves my life every day. <laughs> and then it zips on up and. I have to change out of this in 45 seconds um, after the opening of the show. There's actually another skirt that's under this. I'm underdressed, and then I, my dresser pulls that off. It's, it's one like dresser a dance. helps you get undressed. Or There's you have two people two there, people? And, and I also change a wig. Oh my so gosh! So in 45 seconds, I become young Glinda. <laughs> <laughs> so. so many great aspects to the show. Wicked happening right now at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre runs until the 29th. More secrets of the wardrobe coming up next. We're backstage here at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre in the quick change area. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at some of the most elaborate wardrobe pieces of Wicked. Stay with us, you're watching BT. So, Carrie, you talked a little bit about the quick changes you have to have in this show, yes. and we are in the quick change area right now. Yes, we are. This is the women's quick change area. Um, and actually, Wicked won the Tony Award for Best Costume Design. So these, I mean, these are award-winning costumes. They're incredible. Um, this first costume um, is from Emerald City. This is um, my mom's favorite part of the show. Oh. It's a, these big, ornate, beautiful costumes, as you can see. This is worn by Maddie Trumbull, and this was actually made for her. It's brand new. Um, well, 
it's the same design, but this is made for Maddie. Um, so it's really beautiful and elaborate, and um, and it's it sort of hugs her, and it's a mermaid look. Um, and everything's green because it's the Emerald City, and all the costumes look like that. There's one here too. How many of those feathers end up off by the end oh, of the night? Oh, there's a lot. We <laughs> see a lot of them. And then the hat that goes with this is right here, so she wears that on top of her head, and she also has an umbrella that she's spinning, which it just looks so neat. Everything, the way everything's designed is really incredible. Um, and then this is a monkey costume, so there are monkeys that fly through the air that you'll see in the show. So this is all spandex, <laughs> and they all wear them, and um, this is the the head that they put on. So wow. while they're flying through the air, they are wearing this mask, um, and it's kind of squishy, so it's, it's comfortable for them. Um, so the costumes are absolutely amazing. And a lot of see. costumes. There are a lot, yeah. Um, it takes 100 people to put on this show. Oh my goodness. Well, the show is spectacular. Wicked is running here at the Queen Elizabeth Theater until the 29th. Thanks so much, Kara. Thank you. Well, when we talk about being backstage, Kara, this is truly backstage. It You're is. on that stage here at the Queen Elizabeth Theater. <laughs> Very cool access we have this morning on Breakfast Television. What are we doing next? Well, we are going to take a look at some of the sets and props. And there are a lot, and they are very cool. Stay with us. You're watching BT. We'll be right back. So now we're backstage once again here at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre getting ready for Wicked with Glinda the Good Witch, Kara, of course. <laughs> for anyone that isn't kind of aware of what's designated as what, what sure. constitutes set, what constitutes prop? Sure. Um, the props are mainly the smaller pieces. So this is a, our stage left prop shelf. And the set pieces are where we just were. And um, they're the bigger, bigger scenic elements um, that we can't physically push on stage. Um, they're either rolled on or um, pulled in. Or, so what kinds of things do we have here? Um, so these are are um, our textbooks and they're actually in German. Um, German? I know, we don't read them. Okay. <laughs> I mean, unless we're fluent in German. Um, but these are what we have in um, the classroom scene and then this is Glinda's little textbook. <laughs> so she has a special one. And I'm wondering about these feathers. We talked about all the feathers you must lose, but maybe they collect them, I don't know. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess these are what they collect. I mean, they we see them at the end of the show. Okay. They're all over the stage, so Mr. Peanut has them. I love it. Um, and then these are the, the wands that um, Glinda has. So this is her main one. This is um, also Swarovski crystals, and um, this is a very expensive item, and I also don't want to know how much it is because I hold it and it would make my palms sweat to know. <laughs> um, and then this is the wand that she fights with, um, which you'll see in the show if you come. So have you ever had to get that repaired right. or anything so like that? Right, so these are just plastic, okay. so that if I do break it, it doesn't no cost pressure. as much. It's not as much pressure. No pressure, yeah. but, you know, obviously uh, the story of the friendship of two witches, you know, there's there's going to be a broomstick somewhere yeah. in there as well with some very impressive scenes in Wicked. Yes, absolutely. Um, so this is um, the Wicked Witch of the West wand. <laughs> and it's not just your ordinary broomstick. People will have to see the show yes. to find out how it's a, the secrets of the broomstick will never be revealed. Broom. Um, yeah. And then mints, where does um, that fit well, in? Well, this is so that we don't hurt our fellow castmates' <laughs> noses um, okay. with our bad breath. Well, you know what? I'm going to have one right now. I tell you what, you want to make your way here to the Queen Elizabeth Theatre. Wicked on now through the 29th. Thanks so much for Thank sharing you. this. Yeah. Secrets behind the of set course. and behind the stage with Thank us. Thank you. Wicked.